Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Chicky. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Cincinnati. And I've been working with AISC uh, for the last year, working on some um, teaching aids related to steel connection design. I've actually done three different modules. I'm gonna focus on just one today, um, but I wanted to mention the other ones as well. Um, hopefully coming soon will be some PowerPoint slides um, that you can use for lectures related to steel connection design and detailing. And then also um, some videos and an activity um, using QNECT, which is a connection design software. So students can change parameters, learn about the constructability of connections, um, and do it through a video kind of more hands-on activity. What I was asked to talk about today is um, our module that just became available, which is 3D printed connections. So we have actually um, 3D printed four different types of models, <clears throat> and I'll show you a few of them here. And then there are two others that are still being developed. If you'd like them, I can share them as well. So we're talking about models of about this size. So this is showing a column with four different kinds of shear, possible shear connections, single angle, double angle, shear tab, extended shear tab, um, and then we have the corresponding pieces that you would then connect to it. We are using magnets to represent bolts, um, and then anything that was welded, so for example in this case a welded bolted double angle connection, the welded part is just printed as part of that column, so it comes out in that way, so that students can sort of see, okay, if I want to connect, um, you know, uh, if the piece is welded to the column, what does that mean about the piece that needs to frame in and connect? Well, in this case, I need to coat that bottom flange in order to make this something that can be erected. Okay. Um, I acknowledge that not everyone has direct access to a 3D printer, but most universities will have some kind of makerspace um, within your college or within the overall university where you would be able to pay um, some amount to have these things printed. Um, each piece, the bigger pieces take, uh, for us, it took about six to eight hours for the column, um, but like the pieces like the beams take a couple hours to print. Um, takes about half a reel of material to print. Um, and if you buy all the magnets, the whole cost of all of this is, is less than $50. We also have a beam to girder connection. I'll show you the electronic version of that. We have um, a bolted flange plate connection to talk about moment connections and be able to explain the difference in a moment connection versus, you know, just a, a shear connection. And then also an end plate moment connection. And so you can take the pieces apart where there are bolts. Um, you know, the column, the beam would have this end plate on it. Um, and then you would show basically how that gets put together. Let me show you some of the resources here that are available for this. So we have created a readme file, which really provides all the information hopefully that you will need. Feel free to reach out me, to me or to university services if you have any questions. Um, <clears throat> but it'll walk through the file structure, the basics of 3D printing requirements. There's nothing too um, specialty that needs to happen in terms of the 3D printing, but we provided our basic standards and anyone who has any knowledge of 3D printing should be able to print these without too much trouble. Um, we provided some suggestions of supports and things like that. Um, and then uh, the frequently asked questions, talking through, um, you know, what if you don't have access to a printer? What does it cost? Those sorts of questions. Um, and then talking points. The whole purpose of this is to be able to use it in the class um, and to be able to show why one option might be a better option than another. And so these would provide some talking points as you're working through with each of these connections. Um, so you have access to it um, and have some, some good things to talk about in class. Um, within the file structure, so each connection, um, outside of the readme file, we have the actual um, file that we, we use to create everything. So if you wanted to modify it in some way and create another connection, you're welcome to do that. And then within each connection, there are just photos of it so you know what it will look like. Um, and then each piece. So we've labeled each piece. So in this case, this is the girder that would be printed in the beam to girder connection. 
and it's already been oriented in the way that we would recommend you do the printing. There's no scaling or anything needed. You just need to set it up for the basic um, printing process and, and go ahead and print it. Um, so we have each piece ready to go for you where you just need to send it to the 3D printer basically. Here you can see that we've coped part of it. So you can talk about coping with beam to girder connections. And then we've also created the beam to girder virtual, which is just combining them together so that if you didn't have a 3D printer, but you wanted to be able to um, you know, still show these things, you can provide these to students. So it's like an electronic version of the 3D printed connections. Um, you wouldn't print these pages or these files, but it's just a way to make them available to you. I just want to mention the cost at the bottom it has no significance. It does not cost $215 to print this. This is, we don't know exactly where this gets generated from, but it is not a, a cost that's a cost of the connection in the real world or the 3D printed connection. So just make sure you don't um, pay attention to that. And so that's really it. Um, we've provided, again, uh, four different connections with two others coming, where it just basically gives you the opportunity to um, pass it around, point out certain aspects of constructability, and hopefully um, make connections a little bit more um, understandable uh, to, to your students. I hope you find it helpful. Thanks.